Okay, hello everyone. I'm just gonna do a quick example of showing you how to use some of the equations we derived uh, in the previous lecture. So let us just begin real quick. So let's say we have a velocity vector v bar. This will be equal to 136, 12, 29. This is in the miles per hour. So that's our velocity vector. This is what we're given. And we want to find the speed. We want to find the angle of attack and we want to find the side slip angle. So this is just a basic application of what we have learned so far. Um, I don't know if I covered exactly how to find the speed before, but it's just a basic application of the magnitude of the vector. So the magnitude of the vector goes in a form like this. We have u squared plus v squared plus w squared. It's a square root that is equal to v. And you can apply that for any number of numbers inside of your vector. So let's write that out. So we have square root 136 squared plus 12 squared plus 29 squared. Okay, so plug that into your calculator and it turns out that this velocity is equal to 139.6 miles per hour. That is how fast the airplane is going in whatever direction it happens to be facing. Okay, so that's the, that's the velocity rate, or not velocity, uh, speed. How does the speed of the aircraft? Next, let's find the angle of attack. So we know the angle of attack from the previous lecture is equal to the arc tan of W over U. Now remember, this right here is U, V, W. That's the other name for those uh, three vectors, or three, three uh, numbers. So that's just a basic application of that. So that is, turns out when we plug in the number, that's equal to the arc tangent of 29 over 136. If we plug that into a calculator, pretty easy. In degrees, that is 11.76, or 78 degrees. Next we have a side slip. That, as you recall, is equal to sine, or I'll just continue the same way I wrote the other one, arc sine of the V, which is this V right here, not to confuse it with this other one, over the magnitude of the velocity vector. Now let's plug in some numbers. So arc sine of 12 over 139.6. So let's plug these into the calculator. And what does the calculator say? It says that this is about 4.93 degrees. That right there, that is a pr that's a pretty simple example of how to use the how to use the equations we derived last time or I showed you last time. Normally you probably won't be giving a velocity vector like that. That's pretty nice velocity vector to work with. I mean, we give you all three parts of it. Generally, I don't think someone measures how fast you're going in three component parts. But in case they do, you know how to figure out the side slip angle and the angle of attack. So that is just a simple example right there. I hope it wasn't too hard. It should be pretty easy. Uh, hopefully, we'll get a little harder in the future. Oh, I know we will get harder in the future. But with that being said, that is all I have for this example. Uh, thank you very much.